now we're going to do the body. Same thing. We're going to do the magic ring. Cross here. Oops, sorry. Okay, you're gonna do six single crochet in a magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, gonna do increase all around means two single crochet in each stitch here increase in each single one so just now we started with six so now increase in each single one so we're gonna have 12 stitches all around and the hole has got bigger as at when we crochet so just seal it pull it and seal it tight now for row three you're gonna do single crochet followed by an increase and you're gonna have six sets of it. Single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase. all around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 okay so we have 18 stitches all around so now we're gonna go to row 4 we're gonna do 2 single crochet followed by an increase so this is the bottom part this is the head actually the top of the head Okay, we're going to do two single crochet. So before I do the second one, I make sure I put a marker to indicate where I start. So this is one, two, followed by increase. Increase means two in one. One, two, increase, one, two, increase.
And here you're gonna get 24 stitches all around. Okay, the next one we're gonna do six single crochet. Oops. One. Two, three, four, five, six, six single crochet. Now you're going to do three increase. One increase, two increase. Three increase. After the three increase, you're gonna do six single crochet again. One, two, three, four, five, six. After six, we're gonna do three increase again means here you're going to do two single crochet, two single crochet, two single crochet, two single crochet in each stitch. So this is one increase, two increase, three increase. Now after three increase, there are going to be six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now, uh, here in total, you're going to get 30 stitches all around. So now, for row six until row nine, row 6 and till row 9 you're gonna do single crochet all around means every stitch you do one single crochet so you're gonna get 30 stitches all around you do for four rows that means six seven eight and nine i come back to you once i'm at the end of row 9 okay i've completed row 9 means row six seven eight nine I did single crochet all around so you get 30 stitches all around if you want to know how I managed to have this here I crochet with the marker on like this even though the marker is there I just continue my single crochet that's how I leave the marker on and then on top of this I make another marker so that's how all these are here okay so now I can remove this for beginners if you want to put marker here all around to remind you where to increase you can do that okay now for row 10 you're gonna do 10 single crochet. Oh, sorry, you're gonna do seven single crochet. Row 10. You're gonna do seven single crochet first. Okay, this is a one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. After you do seven crochet, seven single crochet, we're going to do six sets of single crochet followed by a decrease. Six sets. This is single crochet. If you want to make sure you start your six sets from here, you can add a marker to remind yourself in case it went wrong. And you know this is the spot where you start your six sets. 
from here to here there should be one two three four five six seven so this is the six sets we start with single crochet and a decrease I normally do an invisible decrease I just take the front loop front loop and the front loop of both stitch yarn over and yarn over so this is a decrease a single crochet followed by a decrease this is my second set single crochet decrease my third set four five my sixth set after the sixth set you should have five stitches left so five single crochet one two three four five so now you can remove this because nothing happened and I do not need to count back but if you do then you know this is the part where you start your decrease okay and you're gonna have 24 stitches all around 24 stitches so now we're going to go to row 11 you're gonna do three single crochet one two three three single crochet and we're going to do an increase and we're going to do six sets of this so one two three increase And the last one is an increase okay this row you're gonna get 30 stitches all around now here we did an de we did a decrease and now we did an increase because here is the part of the neck it kind of sink in a bit that's the neck so row 12 we're gonna do single crochet all around which you're gonna get 30 stitches all around
Okay, now we're going to go to row 13. Row 13, we're going to do 7 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After seven, you're going to do six sets of two single crochet followed by an increase so one this is the part where I start my set so I just add a marker to remind myself one two increase That is two set. Three set. Four set. Five. Okay, after the six sets, I will have five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So all in, you're going to have 36 stitches all around. So now, for row 14 and 15, you're going to do single crochet all around for two rows row 14 and 15 you're going to do single crochet all around and all in you're going to get 36 stitches all around so i'll come back to you once i'm at the end of row 15. okay i've completed row 14 and 15. it's time to add my muzzle because later on it is too far kind of difficult to sew if you notice here this is the part where it sink in like the neck whereas the back here is just flat so this is the back this is the front so you just take a good look at your amigurumi the part that sink in this is the place to add your muzzle this is the neck the sink in part this is the top of the head this is the sink in part you just like one two three four about five rows from the tip of the head and you sew it here you make sure it's be in the middle of the part where we did that six sets of decrease here will be flat so it should be around here I prefer to sew on the muzzles and everything before I start stuffing it's easier to sew well it's up to you you can actually stuff it first before you add the muzzle but if you stuff it first, then you would have reached the end and your safety eyes, you will not be able to put your safety eyes unless you use those that you glue on. Okay, this is about rich. Here, I can just sew it right in. Ok, 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's about right. So normally what I do is I sew in here. I make sure I sew one here. Kind of like to hold it instead of using a safety pin. I sew one on the north, one on the south, one on the east, one on the west. <laughs> to kind of hold it in here. Make sure you go through here so that it's invisible. So I did one here, I did one here, now I do one on the top, one at the bottom. Then I go one round just to make sure it's tight. But now it's just to make sure it stays in its place before I start to sew start to sew around because as I said, when you sew around it might move so now is the time where you just check and see if you're okay with it if not then it means that the eyes should be here I'm using this type so I bought the whole set so I wouldn't know what size of eyes it is now is it too big if it's too big I think it should be further down here that looks about right if you think the eyes is too big you can change to a smaller one but I think smaller eyes might not look that cute right is this a smaller eye is this a big eye or we can use the medium size eye this has big eyes the white part here I do not have those white cloth some people they have those white cloth where they cut the white cloth and stick it on, stick the eye onto the white cloth and the white cloth stick it onto the amigurumi. But I do not like to use glue. So I just use a needle and sew around here to make it like the, the white part of the eye. So this is up to you whether you want a smaller eye or a bigger eye. But I think bigger eye looks more cute more appealing I'll go for the bigger eye okay so before I decide on the eye it's best I get the muscle ready eye is here the ears would be here okay so that's about right so I sew one more here just to hold it in place once I'm satisfied with the position I will continue to sew one round to make sure it is sealed properly so I'll come back to you once I've sealed the nose okay I've uh, add the eyes add some eyebrow eyelashes sorry I add some eyelashes then turn it into a female then I fasten this I've sewed it around twice okay so now we're going to go to row 16 row 16 we're going to do 30 single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 after 13 single crochet we're going to do one increase two increase three increase Followed by 
7 single crochet from here to here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 3 increase, 1 increase, 2 increase, 3 increase and the balance 10 single crochet all around Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, 13 single crochet, and now 3 increase, 1 increase, 2 increase, 3 increase, followed by 7 single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Followed by three increase. So one increase, two increase. Three increase and now ten single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now you're gonna get 42 stitches all around. So now row 17 and 18, you're gonna do single crochet all around. Means two rows, uh, 17 and 18, you're gonna do single crochet all around where you get 42 stitches. I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 18. Okay, I've completed row 17 and 18. Now, I'm going to go to row 19. Row 19, we're going to do 5 single crochet followed by a decrease. <gasps> Oops, sorry. Okay. Just to mark where I start. So I'm going to do five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by a decrease. I'm going to do invisible decrease. One, two, Three, four, five. Decrease. This is two sets. You're gonna do six sets all together. Just take the front loop. Okay. 
If you think I've gone too fast, the free written pattern is in my blog and I will share it on the description box. Okay, this row is supposed to get 36 stitches all around. Now I'm gonna go to row 20. Row 20, I'm gonna do four single crochet followed by a decrease. So all in you're supposed to do six sets of it. For beginners, you can add your marker all along just to remind yourself when you're going to do decrease if you want. It's going to be decreased all the way and we are going to come to an end and seal the bottom. So you, we're going to do some stuffing very soon but the hole is still big so I do not want to add stuffing now. I want to add stuffing when it's kind of small so that the stuffing will not fall up when I crochet. Okay, you should have 30 stitches all around. So now for row 21, row 21, you're going to do 3 single crochet followed by a decrease. row it's three single crochet followed by a decrease so one two three one two three decrease one two three decrease This three single crochet followed by a decrease, and you're going to do six sets. Okay, I have my six sets, so you should have 24 stitches all around. Now we need to do two single crochet followed by a decrease. One, 
two, followed by a decrease. One, two. Decrease. One, two. Decrease. One, two. Decrease. One, two. So this round, we're going to get 18 stitches all around. And now, the last row, the last row, we're supposed to do decrease all the way. 9 decrease, 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 decrease. And later on, we're going to seal it. So this is the time. Let me see F. Our stuffing. We need slightly more stuffing because it's kind of big too. And make sure you move it around. Shape it. Shape the face. Make sure it has the shape and the head, the body. Okay. Once you think that you have enough stuffing, we should do our decrease. Because now we have stuffing, you're gonna hold it this way, push it down. So we're going to do decrease all the way. There will be around 9 decrease. So this is 1 decrease. Two decrease. Oh, actually when you reach this stage, you do not really need to count. You just decrease all the way. took some stuffing with me in the crochet. <laughs> Be careful when you do decrease because now it's kind of like stretchy. This looks like a stitch but this is already taken so it should be this too. For those who are new, you have to do a few more before you train your eyes to see how to see whether this is the next stitch or that stitch has been taken. Oh, there's another way to see is when you reach the end here, you have exactly that number of stitch. See? Exactly 9 decline, a decrease. So here, I'm going to use a needle. So I'm going to cut the yarn here. Use a needle, so you pull it out. And use a needle, and 
and so on to all the front loop just so on to all the front loop oops only the front loop so there should be around nine of them and you pull and there you have it we think you have certain parts that is a bit too big the hole this is the time we can do some stitching here and there, just to cover it up. Now sometimes we might have put too much stuffing. All the stitches are too loose or too tight. So this is the time we're gonna do something about it, go hide it so since we have extra yarn so make sure when you stitch, you make sure you follow the stitches not all the way here where you can see a straight line just follow the stitches, if the stitches is this short just follow this stitch do not stray too far from it right here it looks like a hole i'm gonna seal it like this so it still look like a stitch i mean it still look like a crochet stitch not a not a straight line stitch you do not st stitch so far ahead where you can see a straight line here that is too much too much so now since everything is alright, if you find that everything is fine now, you can just stitch around. And hide your yarn. Hide it back inside. Not necessary to cut it just hide it inside there you have it so now I'm gonna sew this part I'm gonna sew this part to the head to the body now if you notice before this we have one part where we did 18 stitches where there's no increase whereas here we have increased that's why you can see there's a shape there this is the one that goes to the head the one at the back where we did increase it kind of like open up that is for the bottom so when we sew we watch out for this and sew it here here and here so you're gonna sew here here and here so in case you scared it might move around you can use some marker or safety pin just to hold it at it in its place like here Maybe we should make one here to hold it. We did leave a long tail for sewing. Then one more should be around here. Okay, at least we have a rough idea where it's going to be so here it should be 
around here. As I said, when you sew, you will somehow make it attach properly. Okay, and get the needle. I leave quite a long tail. <gasps> Oops, I got tangled. I leave quite a long tail because it's quite wide. I need to sew. We have to sew it quite closely so that it won't fall off and there's no gap so that you can't open it. It won't open up. Okay. Oh no. Okay, this one is just a small gap. Okay, here we're gonna sew. Oops, this one should be inside. Here we're gonna sew. Like, take for example, here. We're gonna sew once here. And once on the body, you make sure it's going inwards so that when you sew here, you can't see the stitches, only the sides here. Can you see the sides here? But don't worry because once we are we are attached, we had attached to it, it will kind of drop down like this, and the two ears will come here the two ears we're gonna attach here and later on we're gonna make the two hands and the leg so for the arms and the feet it's up to you whether you want to use another color or you can use back the same color as the body so I'll come back to you once I've attached this nicely okay I've connected the ear you sew it here between this gap and the eye here you sew it in and out from here so all the all the brown yarns are inside here and you can hide the yarn inside okay so now we're gonna make the hand uh, yeah and i've connected this all around sew it all around now we're gonna make the hand and the feet. Okay, for the hand, we can start with the magic ring. Start with the magic ring. Make three single crochet in the magic ring. One, two, crochet in the magic ring. This is the hand. Okay, so row two we're gonna do increase. Increase all around. So it means that now we start with three. Now we're gonna do increase for all. So we're gonna get six single crochet all around. Make sure you fold it this way so that it's easier to stitch here. Fold it down. So I made one increase. Now my second increase. And the last increase.
after the increase we're gonna do single crochet all around for row three and row four So you're gonna get six stitches all around. If you get more than six, it means you have C you have C wrongly or you stitch wrongly in you know, some part. One more row of single crochet all around. You do not need stuffing for the hand because the hand is very small. six single crochet and round four so now the last row last round we're gonna do one single crochet followed by a decrease I'm gonna do invisible decrease Then one more time, single crochet, followed by decrease. And that's it, you have one. And cut the yarn with a long tail for sewing. And the tail here from the magic ring, just hide it inside the hand. So that will be your stuffing. And don't forget to make two of it. And we're going to sew it here. Up to you if you want your hedgehog to be holding something make the hand closer and hold on to that thing either a heart shape or a flower or a piece of something or you can make it wider like a hugger you know or you can place it downwards and this way should be more cute so, up to you, I'll come back to you once I get this done. Okay, now for the shoe or for the leg, I intend to give her a pink shoe. So I'm going to start the tip here with the pink color and the top here, um, this is actually yellowish, not exactly white. If you want, if you do not want, you can just leave it one color. Okay, we start off by making a magic ring. In the magic ring, make four single crochet. Once you have four single crochet, seal it. Okay, pull tight and seal the hole. So now we're gonna do single crochet. Single crochet followed by increase, two sets. So we did a single crochet. 
make sure you just pull it down so that it's easier to see the stitch we did a single crochet it's time to make an increase after the increase another set single crochet followed by increase Okay, now we're gonna do single crochet all around for two rows and this is the time and I want to change color and change back to the uh, hand or the leg color you just leave your yarn like this you're supposed to do a single crochet so you go in yarn over hold it first and we're gonna add the other color so this is one and if you can hide it behind while you crochet one two This one chucking out here, better pull it back to the inside. Make sure it stays inside. cut it off or we'll use a needle to hide it back inside the hand or inside the feet sorry as for this we can actually cut the yarn now tie a knot use a needle to hide all of it inside so that it will not interfere with our crochet later on push it in nicely so this is already your stuffing so that's why you do not need stuffing your feet is just very small and once you hide it now it's easier to crochet another round of single crochet So this round, you also get six single crochet all around. I mean all in, you're gonna get six single crochet. And now the last row, we're gonna do single crochet. Followed by a decrease, two sets. So single crochet, and now we're gonna do a decrease. This is a time when it's quite difficult to hold on to it. Take some practice. 
and it is this small it's quite easy quite difficult to add marker to show where to increase so you really have to train your eye okay that's it cut the yarn and there we have two feet and we're gonna sew it here like this this way you just sew it here so that you come to the front here yeah I'll come back to you once I attach the legs just want to show you how I sew because this is white this is brown so I cannot just simply sew anywhere because this white will be visible so here I haven't really attached it properly yet so normally once you stick it here there's just a small space here so actually I will pull my needle all the way to this side that's what I did with the hand and the ears as well because this is the only two spots that is of the same color so I can actually seal both of it at the same time Because if you were to sew it here, the space is just too small. So it's best if you can sew it further away. This way it helps hold the leg too. Then you can check and see where else you want the straight to go so long is always within this color here then just save and you see how else you want to okay it's actually sitting on its butt <laughs> not so much on the shoe you can actually shape it around so that it can sit properly and the balance you can just hide it okay once i'm sure this is firm this is very firm you can shape it for your photo session you can shape it nicely and this one hide it inside put it back inside and no yarn will be wasted can be your stopping And there you have it this is my female hedgehog I've changed the color of the flower I managed to get yellow so now it looks more like Sonic so if you want to learn how to make this flower you want to attach flowers or tiny heart shapes there will be more tutorial you can refer to my other tutorial and you can make the flower and just sew it to the hand so thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video.